Okay, so you we have uh, some pre-supported trust. We will be doing this trust analytically. So this is our question. So let us fill in some of the gaps. Um, okay, so our trust is at thirty degrees. Our rafters. Um, this force over here is perpendicular to our truss, so this is 30, this is 90, and then we will just say 180 minus 30 minus 90, and then we are left with 60 degrees over there. Okay, so as you can see, we have oblique forces. Oblique forces means we must break our our force up into its into its components. So for the vertical component we have our 15 sine of 60 and then for the horizontal component we will be having our 15 cos of 60 okay this is very important to note the direction also um okay so here we've got our 20 kilonewtons 20 sine of 30 degrees as you can see that, that this force is in line with the rafter at 30 degrees so we will assume that it is 30 degrees as well so here we have our horizontal component at 20 cos of 30 okay and over here we also have our hinge our hinge is we can assume is going that way and this is our our hinge we will just leave it like that and then we will also have our resultant our resultant force and then we also have our angle of resultant over there so this is our components of our of our truss so far. So now we will join our two forces here because we see two forces at a point. That means we must join them, and then we will redraw our our truss, our base, our space diagram, with all our forces and components, our reactions after we've calculated them. We'll also get the height of this point here. So let us do that in step two.